Welcome back to System Shock. We're about to go into this room and find out what it is Shodan doesn't want us to see in there. Before that, I wanted to show you something. They released a patch for the game that fixed, among other things, the map markers not working. Remember when I tried to mark this area here, and every time I pressed add marker it just wouldn't show up. Well, it turns out it was actually saving the markers, as you can see. There's a lot of them. <laughs> just a cluster. It was saving them, but it just wasn't actually displaying them. So let me go remove a few markers. Unfortunately, you have to press this button and then click on one and then press this button and then click on one. Uh, this is going to take a while. Something that's really cool is they added the ability to add text messages to the markers so I can actually mark what is there. So that is where I think there's a secret door, but we can't open it until level security is at 0%, I believe. Okay. Let's explore what's in here. I can easily make that jump, can't I? Yeah. Hello? That'll make getting back easier. Wait, am I overlooking where I've already been? Oh, yeah. Just saw me. Is it down below? Well, I like the lightsaber noises it makes when you walk on it. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, that's what saw me. Oh, CPU nodes. I've been looking for where where those are. There's four of them. Are they all going to just be in one place? Something over there heard me, but doesn't seem to be able to get to me. Tech specs. Hold on, I want to read the description for that. A pair of diagnostic glasses. Oh. I thought that'd be a cooler description. Radioactive storage room. Shall I try fragging it all? heal. Okay, there's a couple left, but this area is pretty small. I think I'll just examine. Oh, sense around radar unit. What is that? Scan around the user to locate useful items at the expense of a small amount of energy. Okay. I'll experiment with that outside. Designed to detect objects in a radius around the user. What does that look like? This is it something that is kept active? Yeah, it stays active. So it's not like it sends out a single pulse. Searches for useful items?
I guess I'll just leave it going. I'm not sure how fast it's draining. Oh, hey. Is that like a cleaning bot? Is it going to attack me? Time to patrol. Or is it one thing that Shodan, Shodan hasn't been able to corrupt? Oh, hello. Okay, so that weapon there, shouldn't this be showing it? Like, what does that actually do? Hey, buddy. Well, I just want to pet it or something. I don't need another pistol. I'll just empty it. Okay, I think these are the four nodes, and there's only four on this floor, so I think this is all of them. Do I use this, or do I just bash the nodes? I think I just bash the nodes. Shodan is not going to be happy. Oh, ow. Maybe a grenade is a better choice here. Let me soften this up. Level security is now 4%. Oh, shit. You're never going to get me on that damn bench. So yeah, there's just a couple cameras left. Probably two? Maybe just one? Incoming email. couple doors I haven't been in, so it's probably where the rest of the station security is. I think it's just these two doors. You're hearing this. 
We have set up an operation space to assist in resisting Shodan. Come to Beta Quadrant, and you will find the medical research vaults have been turned into a radioactive trench. If you are coming in from Gamma, our guards will extend the bridge for you. You can also activate the bridge using a nearby wiring panel. Any humans that can hear my voice, come to Beta Quadrant and make a stand against Shodan. All oh, right, that was over here. Beta Quadrant. Okay, so we need to get in there. And we need to go into cyberspace to undo the lock. Oh. Hello. Are you the last of the station security on this level? Zero percent! <gasps> the secret door might work now. Try not to get almost killed by fireflies again. Bonk. What is this? Decoy Evasion V1 software. Oh, acquired. that just a heal I guess there's a lot of heals in this one compared to the other one recall escape v1 Healing, yes. Should I, like, touch that? Looks kind of scary. I think maybe I have to, though. Oh, uh, yeah, that was the main thing I was supposed to do.
almost missed that. It's a tiny little data stick. Engineer's report. Shodan's been stretched too thin. With Shodan controlling or monitoring every system on the station, it isn't surprising to see her built-in security subroutine showing its flaws. As of now, it's randomly sealing storage lockers and storing the code to access them in cyber scores that are only accessible via cyberspace. Throwing this useless information into the same cores as sensitive station information will create an exploit. I'll have Shodan generate defensive systems to keep any would-be hackers away until this issue is sorted. So that would be why going into cyberspace there unlocks this. <gasps> Pulse rifle. Oh, I don't have room for it. Guess I'll have to go without it. No, I want that desperately. I'm gonna make room. There we go. Press T to pump a second round into the chamber. Effective against robots. Wait, so... Does this thing use energy? Does it? Magnetic pulse cartridges. No, it doesn't. Do I have any ammo for it? Well, I can't reload it, so no. The electromagnetic bursts from the JW-76 are designed to penetrate shielding and disrupt even the most heavily armored of robots. The electricity it produces can be deadly to organic targets, but it is not recommended for this purpose. The user can pump the weapon a second time and draw energy from their power source to fuse the two rounds and create a larger electromagnetic field. Damage type is magnetic plus electric. Yeah, so in a pinch you can use it on an organic being, but... It would be very inefficient. Let's pump a second round in. Nice. Does that stay like that? Like, if I move away from it and then go back to it, is it still pumped? It is. We're almost done with medical. Uh, right by the elevator, I found this. I missed that early on. Cyborg units, we are very close to sanitizing my station of the hum 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 of the human stain. Once the tachyon mining beam is calibrated, we will begin to pu purify the human cities of Earth. My first step towards cleansing the planet and allowing our purity. purity. <laughs> Our purity to flourish is almost complete. Their rotting corpses will provide the food for my my world to grow and prosper. Almost at the secret door. Got a couple new ones here. But yeah, I haven't had too many respawns, so I think the low-level security is why. Okay. Is this going to open now? <gasps> I just... Oh, I just got an achievement. Super Sleuth. Discover a hidden door. Hell yes. That was a secret door. Now what do they store in secrets? How good are the secrets? EMP grenade. Bunch of... What are those? I don't know what those are. Another EMP. Some ammo. Oh, that's a new pistol! That's a different type than what I've been using. Hello, high-powered pistol. Let's, oh, I pressed F on it. I'm not sure what that did. I think it equipped it or something. I don't know. Uh, standard issue for Tri-Optimum Security Officers. The 2100 is the preferred offensive tool in confined spaces. 
While its stock fire mode delivers high damage, the 2100's laser sight attachment utilizes a smart sensor to seek out and exploit a target's weak point, but damage calibration is lost if the operator loses the target. Laser sight attachment? Do you have a laser sight? Wait. Wait, what did I just load it with? Do I actually have ammo for this thing? I don't know what laser sight attachment they're talking about. Like, are they saying it's only good if you get the laser sight attachment and I don't have that yet? I need to buy it at some point or something? I don't know. Let's fire this thing. Oh, that sounds meaty. I don't have more ammo. Can't load it anymore. So yeah, what's the damage on that look like? Armor penetration 60%, which is pretty good. Does 65 damage. Compared to the mini pistol, which does 20. So it does about three times the damage. And the mini pistol has 20. Well, it's not really the pistol necessarily that has a certain armor penetration. It's more the ammo. For standard rounds, its armor penetration is only 20%. But, what is it, Teflon? Yeah, the Teflon ones have 50% armor penetration. Which is almost as good as the Magnum, but much, much less damage. Yeah, that's definitely not going to be used on normal enemies. Only really scary stuff. I don't think I even want to put it on my hotbar. Still, a unique weapon is a damn good secret. That's that's really good. Who knows how long it would be till I found another one. Makes me wonder how common secrets are. Could there be more on this level even? I mean, look at this. There's so much here. I only got lucky finding this one because I guess I just happened to right click on a panel on like I right clicked on the wall and I heard a can't do that a nar, nar, noise that's the only reason I found it at all like there could be so many secrets here that I just never found because I'm not going to go around right clicking every wall in the entire game there we go yeah remember there was another junction box I hadn't done the goal of each of these boxes it could be a little bit hard to discern, but once you know it, then it starts to make sense. Okay, so that unlocks this. Have I been down here? Like, is this just a shortcut? I'm pretty sure I've been here. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a shortcut. Because otherwise, the only way to get from here to here is to either go all the way around here or all the way around here. Okay, just a nice little shortcut. That means... Elevator time. I'm going to use the area in front of the elevator to drop things that I can't fit but don't want to throw away. Like the ID tags and the lead pipe. Well, we're in medical, so I guess research is the only other place I can go. I wanted to throw a grenade, but I wasn't confident I could actually throw it fast enough before they were in my face. That elevator music combined with all of them just like turning to stare at me as soon as it opened. It was just comical. Fresh map. Oh, Christ. Oh, I love the way that opens. 
That like iris shutter. Beautiful. Hmm. I don't, I don't think I want to go down. I want to stay on this level. don't understand what this sense around radar unit does. I'm gonna Google this. Okay, I Googled it. Apparently it's supposed to show you items uh, around you on the map. I thought it would be in your vision, but no, apparently it's on the map. We'll see if that works. I have it activated. I'm gonna keep glancing at the mini-map. Oh! Uh, zero grav... What, what are they called? Zero grav mutant. They're really... They're really cool. I don't know if they attack me so much as just cause me biological contamination. Oh, actually, yeah, they're hurting a lot. Oh, I don't think this works against them very well, energy weapons. I think they need something a little bit more physical. Oh, nasty little buggers. Maybe I should just use a full first aid. Practically dead. I love that animation. Yeah, so I think there was a dot in here on the map. Yeah, there it is. When it gets marked, does it stay marked? No. It does take a fair amount of power, though. Man, it would be really easy to miss something like this, though, wouldn't it? It's so tiny. Yeah, I already have that unit, so picking it up doesn't do anything. Maybe I will leave it open. Eh, no, no, that's just gonna drain my power way too much. Wait, what the hell is this? Cryo chamber. Do I want to open that? It's good to know that I can open them. There might be some secrets in them, then. Thing looks like it's going to shock me to death. Yeah, this whole floor is just full of electrocution opportunities. What is that?
Negotiations continue to go well with the United Earth Miners conglomerate over rights to Saturn's moons. Trioptimum is uniquely positioned to make a deal, since Citadel Station is already in a stable orbit and has the scientific equipment necessary for preliminary surveys. Profit projections, assuming a 30% stake in UEM's local mining activities, the standard rate, are promising. Our lawyers are researching the legality of imposing a 25% shipping tax, since Trioptimum technically has first rights to space shipping lanes in the Saturn sector. Ah, capitalism. Second time my progress has been lost due to power loss. I'm heading to Alpha to throw the breaker again. That's if I can find a damn switch with all those robots remodeling the quadrant. When will we reconnect the system to Shodan again? Energy projectile shield V1. Oh. Okay, get me out of here. So that new shield. This advanced force shield absorbs the destructive effects of high-speed projectiles and energy beams. The amount of damage absorbed increases with each new version that is active. Probably going to be turning that off. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. Or that. This must be the restoration station. Is it? Level security is 98%, so each one of those is only 2% of the security. There must be very many of them. Ah. Here's the restoration bay. Oh, hello. Cleared out the cargo lift and went back to the elevator and dropped the stuff. Central control. Needs science access.
there's something down there. Oh, it's one of those. Mmm, EMP. Oh, that was highly effective. All right, that was one of the double-charged shots. Well, let's pump it again. Uh, is it already double-pumped? Pressing the button to do it, and it's not doing anything, so I guess it's double-pumped? I thought that would be per shot. Like, you'd have to redo it each time you shot. I don't know. Seems to be the main hub room. Yeah, access spinning off to a whole bunch of different sectors. Oh, I think this is going to connect with Delta Quadrant, which we've already been to. What? Note to all technicians on engineering, lights and power in Beta Quadrant are still suffering from power surges related to Shodan's recent operation glitches. At the request of Mr. Endicott, I have installed circuit breakers in Alpha Quadrant in case of a power outage in Beta. Okay, I'm probably going to have to use those circuit breakers, so they're in Alpha Quadrant. Ooh, hello. Always love a briefcase. Okay, so what's the... Oh, okay, okay. I think I know the goal for this. So I think the goal is to get the power in between these two ticks. Which I guess means it needs to be exactly here. Maybe it can be there. So it's not to fill this up all the way, but just to get it here. You can overfill it, you can underfill it. Yeah, there we go. I'm still not exactly sure how to tell how much power is going to end up in there, but... It is definitely the goal to get it in between those two ticks. Small dragon's breath round box. Flechette round box. I'm not even sure what weapon those are for. Oh, we have a lot that we can just take for free. Whole bunch of standard rounds. Spark beam, don't need that. Bunch of proximity mines. Teflon rounds, whole bunch of Teflon rounds. Mini pistol, is that loaded? It's not, might as well drop it then. Yeah, I'm fighting a lot of mechs on this level, so Teflon rounds might be the way to go. Let's just switch over to him. Well, I mean, it's not the way to go for the, the little zombie things, but... Nah, it's fine. 
I'll just melee those, unless there's a whole bunch. Nothing today, I'm fine, thank you. These gas grenades I found are doing work. I just toss one in a pack of mutant freaks and watch them hit the floor. Give me enough of these, and I'll crush them all. Why do they sound like such a dude, bro? Why are you so, like, happy and excited? Like, oh, cool, man. I killed so many zombies with this. Like, shouldn't you be freaking out? I'm sorry, but your whole mood is just deeply inappropriate. the downstairs. Okay, let's do it. It's been a while since we found a recharge point. Maybe I'll just use a battery. I also assigned the sense around radar unit to a hotkey, so I can just turn it on and off whenever I want. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Like, that just showed me that there's something here? You see that on the map, like right here. What the heck is that? What is it showing? Oh, it's up there! You gotta crouch jump to get up there. Man, games don't really have that anymore, do they? Crouch jumping? We actually gain height? By crouching in midair? Or I guess you're not really gaining height, but you're losing your own height. I don't know. However you want to think about it. Battery pack. And standard rounds. And a cup of coffee. Oh, damn it. Actually, that's fine. I did need more power. But yeah, now I can just toggle it on and off when I want to check if there's anything in a room. I think I'm going to need to be careful. Yeah, it looks like they weren't careful. Nothing back here but hot death. Oh, what are you? That thing's really cool looking.
Oh, hello. Shotgun. Oh, flechette rounds. Oh, that's for the shotgun. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have room for this. Yeah. Maybe if I move some stuff around. It's probably like 3x2 or 4x2. High damage at close range. Press T to change ammo types. Yeah, 4x2. I wonder if we get inventory upgrades or if I'm just going to need to just remove some stuff from my inventory. I don't really have that much clogging it up. I have these name tags. Aside from that, I'm pretty much using everything. I don't think I have enough of anything for it to uh, make multiple stacks. The SK-27 is a 12-gauge pump-action shotgun that uses a pistol grip for easier maneuverability in close-quarters environments. It's able to deal devastating damage to light-armored foes that are foolish enough to come into close range. Light-armored foes. I don't know, the armor penetration is 45%. That doesn't seem bad for armored things. Damage is 100, which, whew, that's a lot. Okay, yeah, what types of ammo are there? I think just two. There's So there's the Dragon's Breath round and the Flechette rounds. Flechette rounds do less damage than the Dragon rounds, and have a l but have more armor penetration, a lot more. Yeah, Dragon's Breath has really poor armor penetration. So it's Kinetic plus Incendiary. Contain 12 magnesium pellets that create flames when discharged. Makes them very effective against organic targets at the expense of significantly reducing their armor-piercing properties. Yeah. So, burns things. Burns fleshy things. Very good against fleshy things. Terrible against robots. Or anything heavily armored. How do I tell what type I have? Like, I guess the red ones are probably the burny ones. Yeah, they are. That little ding it makes every time you put in a new round is deeply satisfying. Let's try this thing out. Oh shit. Right, biological contamination. I might have died in one shot, I'm not actually sure. Nice. It's quite effective. What are you? This thing just looks so cool, but also really dangerous. Like, those look like they're red hot. That's a weird little, like, peek into another room. Is this something I can do something with? What in the hell was I seeing on that screen? It looked like I saw an ape and then, like, a dog in wireframe. Right now it's DNA. Showing DNA slicing, it looks like. Okay, I want in there. I want into the monkey dog DNA slicing room. Gamma? 
Okay, there's definitely a room in here. And I'm not sure if it's a secret room that I have to access, well, some secret way. Or if perhaps if I come in from here, it looks like that's a door. Maybe that will lead to it. I'm not sure. So let's add a marker here. Secret room? I think I want this on my, my bar. Or do I? I can only have four weapons. Right? Yeah, I can't replace an explosive or a consumable with it. Yeah, one shot does it. Two was overkill. Hey, logic probe. Single use device that bypasses the circuits in any junction box. Yeah, so it is like a skip the puzzle kind of thing. You don't need it, but you can use it if you want. I love that the maintenance bot had scrap on it. That just feels right, you know? Wait, could this be leading to the secret room? Oh, recharge, yes. I feel like everything that I'm shooting takes at least a couple shots, so maybe I should just set this thing to overcharge. What's the purpose of this room? There's a lot of there's a lot of flicky things. Oh, are these the circuit breakers, maybe? I'm just trying to use everything, looking for secrets. Yeah, this is Alpha Quadrant. This this has gotta be the circuit breakers. Do they need to be flipped? Well, up is on, so I suppose this one needs to be on. I suppose they should all be on. I don't know. Let's turn them all off and then all on. That feels right. Oh, hello. Maybe... An EMP? Nah, let's just use the mini pistol.
Yeah, this might lead to the maybe secret room. Maybe not a secret at all. Uh-oh. Uh, shotgun's probably good against that. Wow. Those things are hardy. Please don't make me... I don't want to use the elevator. Let me drop down. I don't care if I take damage. Small osmium round box. Osmium. Is that used for the... Um, the magnum? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, this room's not secret. It's weird. It really feels like this is like a little peek into it. Like it's, you know, th that's a thing games do sometimes. When they have secrets. Sometimes they'll let you peek and see that they're there so you know to search for them. Here's what I was seeing. Oh, it's a tiger. I thought it was a dog. Watch this thing loop. Was it a monkey like I thought in the beginning? We've already stepped. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it's not a monkey, it's an ape, but close enough. It's basically a dog. I mean, that's close enough, too. Okay. When I used the sense around vision thing, it says there's something right here? Is it talking about the specimen jar? I mean, I can't use it. Am I meant to break it? I don't get it. It shows it. See that little dot? Right... Right here. Am I missing something obvious? Is there something like right in front of me? Wait, is it just the ID tag? No? Oh wait, no, I couldn't take it. Um, I don't know, drop these. Yeah, it was just the ID tag. So if a body has an item on them, then they show up. I've got some new friends in the main chamber. You know, I've found shockingly little cameras so far in all of this area. I think I've only found... What? Just... Was it just one? If we look at the status for research... Level security, 98%. I remember I took out one and it took down 2%. I only found one camera in all of this. There must be dozens more. Why are there not like none of them here? Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the episode here because like usual, I've played way longer than I intended to and need to go to sleep. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go check out the beta quadrant. <laughs>